Hey guys, welcome back to another follow up video of Infinity X ROM for Redmi Note 8. This time we have version 3.1, which is based on Android 16. And if you are looking for Android 16 based ROM, there is nothing better than this one actually. So I have been reviewing this ROM pretty long now, and I have already gone through all the customization option and everything. Here I will go few things which require. So about phone, and if we check here, as you can see, here version 3.1, and uh, specs of the device another information here the security patch level is 1st august 2025 so this is the latest version and i have been using this rom about a week now it is working well actually now the rom is optimized pretty well it is much better than the previous version there are not much to talk about but it improved a lot and as you can see here the notification panel as we get with android 16 based rom for customization, we do get Infinity Suite, which is still a Bible. AOD is also a Bible. So all the options are Bible here. In the miscellaneous option, we do get spoofing, smart pixel, and few other things, which I have gone through many times. In terms of network connectivity, everything working perfectly fine. No issue at all. Like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Quick Share, Bo LTE, Bo Wi-Fi, everything working well. The display section, adaptive brightness is working and color things and other things like double tap to sleep double tap to walk all these things are working well no issue at all and in the wallpaper and style so this one is changed a little bit as you can see here usually we used to see all the options like for clock and everything now we have to go here so now if we click on wallpaper and style it will open the ui and we can change clock we get only a single wallpaper with this ROM as you can see here Infinity X wallpaper and you can install Google wallpaper application which does come with a lot of wallpapers as you can see here and we still we do get like icon option and font option and everything and also in the more lock screen setting we do get AOD as you can see here always show time and info still working as you can see here no issue at all And in the app section, still we are getting the same things here, like default application, app lock, game space, assistant, and few other things. Sound and vibration working well. And we do get Dolby Atmos with this ROM and power and volume control. Modes option is available. And in terms of battery, as always, the battery backup is good, no drain issue. First charging is still not working. Storage, by default it will take 15 GB. Location is working well. In terms of security, it's still same. We do get both face and fingerprint unlock and both of them working well. So as you can see here, fingerprint unlock working well, no issue at all. Fast and secure. Also you can enroll your face. App lock option is available here. In the more security setting, we do get theft protection, device admin and few other things. privacy option is here accessibility option if you don't want choppy animation you can turn off all the animation it will give you a little better experience game service google service digital welding and in the system setting you do get gesture option and xiaomi parts option so you can calibrate the display and few other things like vibration strength and all those things and that's all what you are getting nothing new here actually i have already gone through all the customization option and in terms of application this is a gs build so google applications are pre-installed and we do get miui camera with this one which is working well no issue at all everything is working well here actually and i did install a gcam here which is also working so in terms of camera also no issue and in terms of other things like phone call as I said working well and Bo LTE, Bo Wi-Fi working, also the video call working, call recording is also working. So surprisingly everything actually pretty good on this ROM. In terms of Google Photos, as you know, we do get unlimited storage as you can see here. But unfortunately, still the magic editor is not working. 
So if I try now, and you press that, so it's still not working. Other things like WhatsApp is working well, no issue at all. And one thing which is pretty good about this ROM is that you are getting safety net here. So you will not find any ROM based on Android 16 that got like safety net feature by default. So this ROM actually has that. So if I show you about Play Product Certification, device is certified. So Bank App is going to work perfectly fine and ChatGPT is also working. As you can see here. And in terms of other features, still we do get circle to search, which is better now and it works better than the previous time actually. So it is a little bit smoother. And we do get FM radio, which is working well. And overall, this is a good ROM. At last, in terms of gaming, I did play Call of Duty here in medium setting. I haven't faced any lag or sluggishness or anything like that. The gaming performance was as expected from this device. You can't really expect more than that for my Android 16 based ROM. Yes, you can get better experience out of uh, Android 12 or 13 based ROM because those are not like heavy like this Android 16 based ROM. So if you want better experience out of this device, you can go with Android 12 or 13 based ROM. But if you need Android 16 based ROM, there is nothing can beat Infinity X ROM. So this is by far one of the best ROM you can get for your Redmi Note 8, which is based on Android 16. And it is the latest and greatest for this device. So if you want to try this ROM, the ROM link will be in the description below. And that's all about it. There is nothing much to talk about this ROM. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.